Okay, so the role is melee DPS and it shares the same armor as the Dragoon, so farming ar Dragoon armor now makes sense definitely and we should do that and maybe, the, like I said, the elemental armor would be a good bet for this because, I don't know, should be nice, should be nice with this bluish tone to, to the bluish effects that the Reaper is causing. And its primary means of dealing damage is the two scythe. Sorry. He just looks hilarious. That's awesome. Thumbs up for Yoshi Peace. Real life glamours. And as is the case um, with most of our recent uh, job releases, there is no corresponding class. Yeah. I guess some, something we, we did already expect, right? Um, would be very weird if you would uh, throw something like a s required or demanding subclass into the mix now and just have kind of leveling Lancer for being or uh, becoming a Reaper that doesn't make sense here, so... Alright, and there's uh, two ways to be able to... or there's two things you have to do to be able to play the Reaper. That's first, first you must have the Endwalker expansion, and second, you must have at least one job that is already at level 70. Okay, yeah, th so much for the details. I guess that's, that's everything we, we did know already. Of course, you have to level up Gardner to learn the wheel to wield the sky. <laughs> You're right. Only Gardeners can wield the scythe properly. Alright, and so in the, uh, the, the video concept. that you just okay, saw, you got good. to see the Reaper in action. Um, so we're going to touch a little bit upon how the Reaper actually fights in battle. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I'm interested about. Let's and so as you saw, uh, because this is a melee DPS character, they have a very dynamic uh, style of attack. Okay, dynamic style of attack. That means actually because it's he refers that to the melee role itself, it doesn't mean something special here. Uh, dynamic close quarter combat means that you're just rotating between all the positionals. I think that's actually nothing special. And I got this wrong uh, when I told this last time um, when we were in Boja still. Uh, it means it's it simply melee so far. I don't know. So the uh, main uh, source of damage is going to be coming from the scythe. Okay, the main damage from the scythe means um, who else is more side orientated I, I'm not sure. I think Dragoon is kind of even on all of these side positionals. They they have, he has rare and side positionals in, in the same amount and Monk as well? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It could be that he's more on the side and have less positional requirements than the other jobs, because I think the other jobs are kind of even on all the positionals. What do you think? I think they also meant that it's also pad class, but instead of call out of the pads, it's using the pad itself to buff yourself. Uh, Saskia, I, I guess that the pad is working like it works on the Machinist or the Dark Knight, or maybe in, in the most pet-like style, it would work like it's working on a summoner, like summoning Bahamut and using big attacks, or that it mimics your attacks on, uh, yeah, hitting GCDs, which is much more logical and easier to accomplish as a melee. But then we would have the problem, is there an AI following your thing? Because when we get an AI that, that follows like Bahamut, you have this disaster and this mess with, with dropping auto attacks. And that's something I hope they don't force us into with the Reaper and hopefully address that on the summoner as well. Because these ghosting things, yeah, I think ghosting is the term, when you're just losing auto attacks because yeah, your the AI just couldn't keep up with your speed, with your pace or whatever. 
I don't know. I hope that they would change it. That, yeah, and doesn't don't introduce that to the Reaper. Using the power of the Avatar to uh, hope the Wrath is part of your character. Uh, buff your attack with no AI. Yeah, that would be the easiest way to accomplish that, like we have with, um, for example, the Dark Knight. Okay, the Dark Knight is not buffing your attacks, it's producing another set of attacks that is just randomly spawned or randomly attacking the enemies and throwing in AoE attacks. If you mean that they will buff your attack with no AI, then I guess it would be something special because all the the pets that we have in game right now are not are at least doing an, a known attack and a un, unique attack like the mech uh, doing this this strikes these these blows and all that and the dark knight is mimicking a set of randomized attacks that the dark knight has at its disposal and yeah the summoner is just <laughs> a mess of ai yeah disaster Darkness is just like uh, dots, to be honest. Yeah, I guess, but it's still that the shade or the, the darkness shade is attacking. I don't think it's a pet. I think they're just skills or abilities like jumps or Midara. Uh, you, like, you would think something like an upgraded version of normal attack when the avatar is called out. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, but I think um, we'll look that up after this one uh, in the presentation video. Okay, here we have the opposite. That's that's weird. Here is the 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 complete opposite. That's definitely another term. That is kind of more like uh, the the wrath is is supporting your attacks, like the Dark Knight does, or it kind of be a double edged attack, like you attack and the wrath attack both, and kind of be your ultimate uh, attack or something that you you need energy points, gauge points for, or something like that. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, this is what you're talking about. This looks like the empowered st uh, stance. When you're empowering the character, or the character is empowered by the wrath um, powers and forces, I guess that could be a stance difference. So you're using the wrath attacks like Aggie Assaults on the Summoner, and also having this, like, contributing to your attacks, and you also have a complete stance where you're your wrath is kind of consumed and you're using the strength and energies of your wrath to get empowered. That's what you was, were talking about, Saskaya. It really looks like the, the wrath is empowering the character here. Yeah. And to be honest, that looks freaking awesome. That looks super nice. I, I love it. I love it. That looks even cooler than any Dark Knight moves, and I really like the shift of colors. Then, without the wrath, you're just doing these these purple hotel um, colors, and and when the wrath is empowering the the Reaper, it's actually red, blood red, and that's super nice. I I love that color scheme. Look at this again. <laughs> that's so nice. Oh my goodness. I also like that this is a threefold attack. Threefold attack. I always like these because they, they are so brutal and so uh, nice to, to watch and, and especially when you're building up a gate or something like that. Looks like a Falkley stance. Looks like uh, the same animation multiple times to me. Yeah, that's, that could actually be the case that they have some the mechanic like a warrior or like the Dark Knight has right now, where you, you kind of have a free cost, free of cost usage of all your strong abilities that are also uh, bound to this stance or anything. And I would actually welcome that because that fits very nicely to the Dark Knight right now and to the warrior and really emanates this brutality that is kind of just limited to the tanks right now um i think overall the uh set of melee dps jobs that we have right now is more limited to to being strategical to being very very agile and very very i don't know it's it's more like 
they're missing this this brutality, the form of brutality. I know the punches of monks are, are very strong and very powerful, and samurai blades are kind of slashy and, and cutting edge, but I don't know, the brutality is missing, and I think Square's maybe trying to get this Dark Knight and Warrior brutality into the DPS and melee roster. Let's let's embrace it again. It's it's so cool. I really like it. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, guys, I, I'm super hyped about the Reaper. I, I think we will see something, um, yeah, where you have these normal, ordinary attacks like these, for example, and then, uh, yeah, you, you will go into into the mode where maybe the, the Wrath is supporting your attacks and contributing to your attacks. And to be honest, this looks definitely like an Aggie Assault. Look at this again. So, because, yeah, the Reaper itself is not doing anything. Oh, I like that. So, I, I'm actually a fan of Aggie Assaults, by the way. Because that could also mean, if you're having more stacks to use this, that you can have some range to your target. And that would be awesome. If that is a ranged attack, which I don't think it is, actually, because Square uses to be um showing off ranged attacks on a clear range position so for the job if you remember the job trailer when they show shown off that um some classes or jobs have ranged capabilities they perform these actions in a ranged proximity to the target so it could actually be melee it could actually be a melee attack but if it's not engraved in stone yet, I would love to see that being a ranged attack because then you have more flexibility and this is definitely the the stuff that I'm missing for playing or enjoying melee jobs because I think I'm always there. I have to be in combat, in close position. I have to be daggling my target. I don't know. It's not just my playstyle, and that would be awesome if you have a sort of break or you have some, some resources or gauge stuff to do when you're not in close position. That would be awesome. And yeah. And this looks like the mix and match stuff here. I don't know, maybe like like in Kindle or something. Um, oh, yeah, in Kindle is actually working on your, your pad again, but. This is just insane. Using your stand to fight bosses, please give Reaper more raid utility than just faint. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice as well, to see more utility coming to a melee job and not just uh, the simple, simple smash in all damage and stuff. A better race for melee would be so overpowered. Oh yes! Oh my goodness, that's that's the best idea, I, I guess. A, a race for a melee job, I would square. If you if you ever have the chance to see whatever we're doing, uh, this video or turning this into a video, can you give the Reaper a battle race? That would be so unique and so awesome. I would love to see that. It doesn't need to be the strongest among all the melee jobs compared to the samurai and stuff, but a battle race for a reaper, where you actually give back the, the harvest souls, the, the souls that you harvested, I guess that would make sense, by the way. What do you think? The ether. In Final Fantasy, we're talking about ether, so if the reaper is able to extract ether from, from other creatures or uh, existences or the environment, I don't know how that works, and then giving it back would be cool, but of course, the, the simple Reaper... <laughs> <I don't, laughs> a race spell that is paid with gill. <laughs> that is cool as well. The idea is, is very really nice. Uh, but yeah, it demands a lot of, of gill 
receiving before raiding then. But yeah, I would I would love to see a battle race on on the Reaper to be honest. I would love to see that. Okay, let's get back into the presentation a bit more. Just for battle wise on the concept wise of bringing in a very unique melee job that is actually unique on its role placement. That would be awesome. I know these mechanics, this avatar is super unique from the playstyle aspect. But to be honest, unique, they are all unique. <laughs> we have all special snowflake jobs, if, if you haven't realized that yet. But uh, from the role positional and the uniqueness of its position inside of the role roster, I guess that having a battle rate as the Reaper would be super awesome. I would love to see that. Because it's always this, uh, why don't you get a red mate or summoner for progress? You don't need to, to get your mark, get your samurai, ninja, whatever. Just stack your stack your group up with summoners and, and red mages and you're good to go. That would be awesome if you can see reapers. I know <laughs> the overflow of, of reaper players would be insane then, but I would love to see that. Let's be honest, that would be awesome. I would wish for battle raising melee job. Healer with guns and botanist with inner demons. <laughs> Well, with the Apple quest for the role quest, the giving back ether thing is not that much impossible. Yeah, I, I think that's the case. I think that's the case. Ether is just flowing all around us in, in Eorzea. And I think um, like the Asians can can harness this this resurrection thing for themselves when we don't push them into, into these elixirs, into these bottles, whatever. Um, then why don't we can do that and i think we're talking about xenos being the prime model the iconic role for for the reaper staring the reaper in in the story plot so i'm not sure if he's just the death bringer maybe there's also a life aspect in his design i'm not sure about that living death side effect make healers work but it has the undeath death feel <laughs> Uh, yeah, that could be a good idea that you actually have a downside at least so like living that where maybe You raise somebody to 50% health, but the other 50% health has to be healed up by the healers That's actually a very nice idea. I, I like that. That's really that's really good idea Healing up 50% means they have some time to do it and maybe just throw out one powerful healing spell and they actually don't have to raise themselves and that's still giving them a lot of room and space to to do their stuff to deal damage to heal and because yeah hard casting a raise spell would take 10 seconds so that would definitely be cool i would love to see that there's like an equ equivalent exchange with ether see the end of eden's promise oh yeah you're right you're right so it's possible it would be possible and we would love to see a better race than the final pose here the jojo pose <laughs> yeah um yeah when looking at the reaper i would love to see a battle race being introduced by harnessing harvesting the powers and the etherite uh, the ether energy around ourselves the environment or enemy players enemy enemies enemy targets whatever that would be awesome and giving this life back to a uh, party member i don't know how they realize this this idea of, of raising somebody with battle race but it would be super nice because I think, especially when when putting the the thought of of Temtem to this point, that it could work like the Living Dead works, that you have to heal up on this. Like, it would bring you back to fifty percent, and you have a time frame of ten seconds to be healed up the last fifty percent. Not the whole. I think the whole Living Dead sequence would be uh, too demanding. That would heavily push out the healers into the spot where they actually could have raced anyways and that would make this obsolete so um yeah i i guess that that way would be awesome and using your pad in first the the aggie assault version then enhancing your normal and ordinary attack like we get and see on the summoner by giving this stack onto your rune 2 transforming that into rune 4 and this will turn the reaper's attack into the scythe attack combined with the avatar the void sand and then having this kind of third stage where you're completely turning all the energy of your avatar into yourself and turning off a stance like delirium stance or inner release from the warrior where you can 
spam out some strong attacks or get some enhanced attacks or unique attacks like you get in the Firebird Trance, for example, like your Scythe Slash 1 or Heart Slash is turning into a Doom Strike or a Devastating Blow, I don't know. And and this, this would be very cool, I guess, and make it unique when we're talking about still using your positions correctly and... I don't think that it has to be so complex like a ninja or monk, for example, where you have to buff yourself all the time, keep buffs upwards and all. Um, I guess that would be cool. I hope that my ideas, and especially your ideas, because most of them were your ideas, are uh, what you are also wishing for. I, I think that's phenomenal, especially the battle rates. I really like that and would love to see a battle rate on the melee roster.